but um, crap. um that's not where the mic was <laughs> what was i listening to Welcome Bizak to a, another video. Um, today, what I'm gonna do is, um, I've always kind of like wanted to like make a video kind of breaking down or showing you guys my favorite articles of clothing in my closet, because I do have favorites. And then recently I was just telling someone about this podcast that I like to listen to. Um, it's available on Spotify where they bring in um, different artists. Let me tell you the name first. Um, it's called um, 10 Songs That Made Me. And they bring on like a variety of different artists and ask them a series of questions. And the artist kind of um, um, details what song they were listening to or that reminds them of that time. So with that spot like concept in mind paired with like my favorite articles of clothing i'm just gonna go through i went through my closet already and i picked out like 10 articles of clothing and then um kind of explain to you why they're my favorite or little stuff like that i'm also just gonna show you guys how um i wear the items i the way I wear them has evolved since I originally got them, obviously. Um, so I'm just gonna sneak in a little, little one-two of how I like to dress these items up. And then I'm gonna pair it with like two songs that remind me of that time or that I was listening to on repeat at that time that I know for sure. Some of them are a little old. I, I'm gonna put them all in like a Spotify playlist so there's like one place to listen to all the songs in what, uh, if you guys are interested. Um, not everything's available on Spotify I, off the top of my head, so there's also going to be just a little YouTube playlist that you can kind of go to to listen to it and enjoy it that way. My Doc Martens, um, when I thought of the idea, I knew for sure these were going to be the first item that I show. Um, they are my... It's hard to say ultimate favorite pair of shoes, but it's definitely up there. Um, I love them. I love the versatility and I've been wearing them for like a long time of uh, a long time at this point. I originally uh, bought them as a um, graduation gift to myself once I graduated high school. So I've been wearing them for that whole period of time. To be completely honest with you, it's been almost 10 years. Okay, I'm boosting. I'm on year eight as of 2022, and um, that's amazing to me. My dad, growing up, would always like randomly call me into his room. Oh shit! Here we go again. And like show articles of clothing and be like, "I've had this for as long as you've been born." Interesting. I'd be like, "Okay, cool. What does that have to do with anything?" And here I am, kind of doing the same general thing. Um, so in regard to like the two songs that I can remember listening to um, around the time that I graduated high school, the first one is You by the 1975 and the second one is Between Love and Hate by The Strokes. I also purchased this one in high school. Um, I've got this Levi's denim trucker jacket. And I remember when I first got this, um, everybody was kind of getting into purchasing like a denim jacket and or something along those lines. And I have always kind of been like anti-trend. So when I see something that's like very trendy or something that like everybody has their hands on, it kind of turns me off from getting it. But I went thrifting one time and I found the jacket and I was like, I gotta get it. I gotta get it. It's a men's jacket. Um, I really like the way it fits. And it's a jacket that I generally go to when we're like in between seasons. So um, between like when it's starting to get chilly between the summer and the fall. And then when it's starting to warm up again between the winter time and the spring. The versatility of the jacket's great and it's the perfect wash, in my opinion, to pair with jeans for a Canadian tuxedo. And so the two songs that um, I was listening to at the time 
that I purchased this jacket, um, Ribs by Lord. Pure Heroin is an elite album. And then You're Not the One by Sky Ferreira. The next item I've got, uh, <laughs> I, this, um, I don't know how to really say it, what it is, but it's a button down top. And I know exactly why I bought this the time that I did buy it. So um, I think I got this either the summer between graduating high school and university or the summer after that. I don't remember exactly when, but I know it was around that time. And I was um, obsessed with like nautical themed stuff, but also like the Versace print. And so I went thrifting one day and I was just looking through the shirts and I was just kind of hoping to find something similar. And then I found it. And so I got it and I've had it ever since then. Um, Oh no, I got it before university. And I know that because this is how I remember, because I remember wearing, there's a burn on it. There's a little burn on it here. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's polyester, so it burns really easily, but there's a little um, hole in it. And I remember being in the dorm kitchen cooking. And then I guess I like reached over the stove and burnt this little hole in this, um, shirt that I have here and so when I think about that time and just like that time in my life or whatever um one really big song that comes to mind is Lovers to Friends by Icona Pop but also Three Days by Rye um I was listening to those two songs a lot a lot a lot a lot <laughs> so this next item is another button down I got this one, I think, in like sometime in 2012, 2013. This is probably the first button down shirt I've ever gotten for myself. And little old me was like excited because it's a polo top. But um, I, it was like one of the shirts I also wore a lot of the time while I was in university. Um, I really like the color, um, I really like the way it fits. Um, I remember the, like a very distinct time wearing this again while I was in university. Um, I was in my dorm room with like a friend that I had made on the floor and I did, had just recently like thrifted, um, a little like set of speakers that were like way better than just like your little small ones that you carry around. It had like a little bass thingies, whatever. And I was playing for them like music that I was like really listening to a lot at that time and so the first song that brings me back to the time that i was wearing uh, this item is um limit to your love by james blake um i just I, there's something about that song and then i like turned the bass up so when the beat drops it like vibrates in your ears <laughs> and this person does not listen to that kind of music at all whatsoever so we're sitting and they're kind of like freaked out by like feeling the music in their um, body. But then the, the next song, um, still the same same night, um, is Baby Blue by King Cruel. And <laughs> this one is, I remember vividly because um, uh, this got into the point where we're like, slowing down talking about more sentimental stuff, like deeper stuff. And I'm like laying on my bed like, legs up on the wall and head hanging off the edge and i'm trying to convince them that this is a, a happy song <laughs> and and they look at me as if I, I had like completely lost my mind i was like now that i think back on it one the song is not a happy song but um i was very sad <laughs> at that time to think that it was a happy song i ain't gonna lie i'm getting cooked <laughs> nonetheless this is what this shirt reminds me of and it's one of my favorites <laughs> so the next item that i have is this pair of jeans um it's a pair of levi's jeans that i also thrifted and um i remember just like going into the thrift store and um distinctly looking for a pair of men's jeans here this is the first pair of 
jeans that I know that I like actively sought out in the men's section. Um, I like the way they fit now. I just recently altered them and I also really like the, the length of them. Um, so I've had these, I know I purchased these in the summer after university. Um, I, for these jeans specifically, I vividly remember listening to Bankhead by Kalela, but um, off, like I know she has it on her own personal projects, but off of the um, St. Huron album that Solange put together. And then the next song that I remember listening to a lot at that time is the one by Jameson. Two really good songs that um, I always come to mind when I'm like looking to pull these jeans out of my pocket. Not pocket, closet. <laughs> these pair of uh, flared jeans. I don't know if you can see all the way at the bottom, a little bit of flare here. Um, the color is a little ugly, uh, just a little ugly, but I love them. Um, that's what they are. I purchased these from Zara. I worked there for like three years and so I think on my day off or something I had gone into the location that I work at to do some shopping during sale season and I had randomly found these on the rack, one of the racks that they had there and they were in my size and I I absolutely love them and I had to get them so I did and remember um, waiting line going to the cash register and having one of my co-workers like look at them lift them up and then like show them to another one of my co-workers and be like these are so ugly <laughs> and then the co-worker agreeing but there she then said like oh but they're so you I was like I'll take it I'll take the compliment you know I'll do the best I can um, so that's what it is. I distinctly remember the year I bought these in. This was in 2016 and um, this and I remember this because that was the year um, Gucci Mane was released from prison <laughs> and so I was just listening to a lot of his music and so when I think about like music that um, I was listening at that time, the album he released in that year, but specifically um, First Day Out the Feds by Gucci Mane specifically. And in that summer, that summer, um, I took a one day trip to Montreal with my sister to go and see James Blake live uh, because his tickets in Toronto had sold out. Um, and so I was listening to a lot of his music too. And the specific song that I was listening to at that time is My Willing Heart. Such a great song. Um, this pair of black and white uh, Chuck Taylors, um, completely, completely beat up. I can only wear them in the summertime because of like how, how much I've worn them. Um, these are not the original laces, but there is a lot of sentimentality to it, which is why, and they're just an easy pair of shoes to wear, um, which is why I still have them. These, uh, these I got in like, 2016 if I remember correctly and I bought them uh, on a trip to New York my first ever trip to New York my first ever solo trip anywhere I think um, so it's my first solo trip anywhere I went to New York I was there for a year at that time I was pursuing modeling so um the intention of that trip was business <laughs> That, so the intention of the trip was to try and get signed to um, a bigger uh, agency to help me help propel whatever career. Um, that didn't work out, which is fine. But that is okay. I know very. I'm like very much aware that this is a pair of shoes that I could have gotten here. I just like really wanted something to purchase that I could use that will remind me of that time. And I had, at that time, I was looking for a pair of Chucks anyway. Um, so I got them. And so I've worn them, used and abused them, and 
I'm constantly reminded of my first time in New York because of these shoes. Um, I had just recently discovered um, Adele, so um, the song specifically is Chasing Pavement, which I feel was very fitting for the reason why I went to New York. And then um, Baby Father by Shade. Um, I can't explain to you why I was listening to you at that time, but it's a great song and can't go wrong with her. But for sure, those two songs at that time. Another pair of shoes. I've got a pair of all black Air Force Ones in the mid variety. These are not the OG laces, obviously. I don't know where I put them. But, um, crap. <laughs> um, um, I got these on my break at work one time, I think around 2015. Um, I was on break and it was during the like holiday season and I was just, I was like, I, I really wanted a pair. I've, I had one when I was, I had a pair when I was a kid, but they were like completely beat up and my parents threw them away and I was completely heartbroken. It's like one of my favorite sneaker silhouettes of like all time. So I was like, um, on my break at work, I had the money to afford them. I was like, fuck it, let me go and get them. So I marched my ass into Foot Locker. I bought them and I've had them ever since. I feel like they've held up pretty well considering how old they are. And as that night I had the closing shift and there's a different staff person who gets like ox privileges to like play their music and I was finally let play my music. So I put my little playlist on, put it to the speaker and the two songs that people had a, um, not visceral reaction to, but like huge reaction to, cause I was still new at that time. So everybody's like trying to figure me out. Um, first song, Don't Like by Chief Keef. That's the first song that everybody's like, whoa. And then the second song is um, Naughty by Olu Maintain. Um, so those are the two songs that everybody kind of like, what? <laughs> you listen to that? And honorable mention to Air Force Ones by Nelly because anytime I look at a pair of Air Force Ones in general, the song starts playing in my head. So <laughs> Another pair of shoes or boots. These are, I don't know, they're just my white boots. Uh, um, they, that makes the most sense in my brain when I do say it. Um, and uh, the reason why I purchased these and um, they've kind of followed me since I've purchased them and is because I've always been like completely enamored and like fascinated by like 60s and 70s fashion. Um, I think about like a James Brown, a Jimi Hendrix uh, type of person, a Lenny Kravitz and like aesthetically the way that they dress, I've always really liked it. But um, at that time I was like looking for like more Western inspired boot, but I haven't had, I hadn't like quite developed the confidence to go all out cowboy boot. And so these are also purchased from Zara, again, sale season. And I was just like roaming around. I wasn't looking for anything. I was like on, I was like in the middle of my shift and I saw these like deeply hidden somewhere. I don't know if someone hid them to come back to them, if they were. Sorry to this man. <laughs> um, but then I found them and I purchased them and yeah, uh, the reason, yeah. So that's like why they're my favorite article of clothing. So, so um, in regard to like uh, the two songs, they have nothing to do at all with um, the style and the aesthetic of why I purchased the boots, but the two songs are um, Self Control by Frank Ocean and Reverse Faults by Sampha. And for like Self Control specifically, I remember one morning, it was the opening shift, but the shift hadn't started yet. So we're like all in the break room and I like started to play the song out loud and I was singing along to it. <laughs> and so the, the boots and that song are forever gonna like be tied together. And just like Sampha, that album at that time was really good and I listened to it a lot, Reverse Faults specifically. And 
And so the last item that I've got is my dearly beloved orange vest. I think this is the first, this is like out of all of the things that I've shown so far, this is the most recent one. Um, I've also bought this one thrifting. I quite enjoy thrifting and I think as you've seen a lot of my favorite items to wear are thrifted items. I don't know how that works out. But anywho! I had gone thrifting one day and as thrifting usually tends to go, I found this by accident, but I had never owned a vest before until I saw this one. But I really liked the color. I liked how vibrant the orange was without like being in your face. And I also like the fabric content. It's made out of cashmere. So it's a really like soft um, um, vest overall, but it's also very warm. So I like the versatility that comes with it. And when I first got it, I did struggle to wear it because I just like didn't have the exact pieces in my closet, but I knew I really, really wanted to own it. And since then it's become like a staple piece in my closet. Um, I have to like refrain from wearing it once a week so I can give the rest of my stuff in my closet some play. <laughs> uh, the two songs that I know for sure I was listening to at this time because it's a more recent purchase. Um, and at that time, um, what's it called? FKA Twigs had released her album. And so the one song that I listened to a lot at that time, uh, still to this day. To this day! A lot of these songs that I mentioned, I still freaking listen to. Um, Mirrored Heart back to what I was talking to. That's song number one when I think about this vest. Um, song number two when I think about this vest is Voodoo by Patrick Page the second. And then I know it's only supposed to be two songs but there's a third song I had to go I couldn't go without mentioning it. Sweet Holy Honey by Xavier Omar and Sango. When those two connect is butter every single time. So those are the three songs that I know it's only supposed to do two but it, it had to be three for this orange vest that kind of remind always always come to mind when I think about this vest <laughs> in case you haven't noticed I am a deeply sentimental person so I really wanted to do a bonus item it's not an article of clothing it's not a pair of shoes it's this teddy bear <laughs> um quick little backstory about this teddy bear. I never had a teddy bear growing up, like from childhood in my like toddler years. I don't think I ever owned a teddy bear, but I remember talking to someone one time about like, um, we used to go to this like outlet mall and they had a Build-A-Bear in, in the mall. And I was telling this person like, I always really wanted like a Build-A-Bear teddy bear. And so they got one for me and now I own just one teddy bear, but it uh, means a lot. Like so much so that um, in like the past like five years, I've moved basically like once every year and a half. And like, I fear losing it so much that like once everything's like packed in the truck, I make sure that like this one article, this one thing is like on my lap so I can physically put it somewhere when I reach the new destination. But yeah, item bonus 11. And that brings us to the end of this video. That was 10 articles of clothing that made me plus um, bonus item and a few songs to kind of go along with it. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.